You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering any type of minimally invasive facial rejuvenation. With us, we have Beverly Hills cosmetic dermatologist that everyone is talking about, probably the busiest in California, big celebrity following. You don't want to miss what he has to say. So if you're not happy with the way you're aging, my advice, stick around for the latest edition of The Wellness Hour. The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering any type of minimally invasive facial rejuvenation. With us, we have Dr. Simon Orion. Dr. Orion, welcome to the program. Good to see you again. Now, we've had you on the program before. Yes. Uh, now, you're Thank the you busiest guy in, in L.A., maybe even in California when it comes to these minimally invasive procedures. Is that right? That's right, I'm very proud of that. I started 10 years ago and um, things just got better and better. We got the number one fortunate. Botox guy, is that true? Uh, it's true, we, we started um, 10 years ago and uh, we got very fortunate. Things, um, patients referred their friends and they kept coming and celebrities started coming and one by one they sent their friends and the celebrity friends and their You see a celebrity friends. every day, I've been told. Uh, Probably Just every day, about. yes, but, but we really we treat everyone like they are a celebrity. To me, everyone who sits in my chair is a celebrity, and it is my job to give them the best result possible. You say you don't watch for, TV, so sometimes you don't even recognize them? A lot of times I don't. I, I know I've seen their faces, but I know the, don't know their names. My staff come back and they whisper in my ear, you know who that is. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I right. guess I know. It, in reality, I like that fact. I like the fact that I treat everyone like they are a celebrity, and they could turn out to be a celebrity. There are times that you, sometimes you can't tell. They just come in ragged clothes, and they sit down, and I, they because they don't want to be recognized. I do my work, and later on I find out they were famous okay. and, and uh, but I do the same work for them as I do if I didn't know them at all and that's what I would like to. But you get everyday people. I mean who is your typical patient? I guess it's not just for the Our typical patient anymore. is no um, because of the fact that nowadays cosmetic dermatology is so amazing. You can do a lot with it and you can actually make a person look younger, look better, look uh, fresher in only a few minutes without major downtime, without pain, and with very minimal cost. It is for everyone. I have people who um, are employees of a, of a supermarket all the way up to celebrities and heads of states. There's no huge barrier because of financial background. So you get a lot of political people as well. Uh, you see them on the weekends. On the weekends. On Sundays, uh, people who are who can be easy to recognize, and for security reasons, we have to see them on, on Sundays. But uh, again, my job is one thing, to try to give them the look that they want, to look more refreshed, more natural, and especially for politicians and especially for celebrities, they want to look natural. Nobody wants to go out there and look like someone else. They, in fact, it becomes a huge ordeal. You can read it on the cover of Times Magazine if somebody gets too much Botox. There was a politician <laughs> recently who had a little bit of a Botox was done irregularly. I didn't do it. So a flat in the middle. She had a he had a flat middle and the size of the eyebrows were going up, so he was looking like a sinister politician. That's not the look you want to have. In right. fact, it just basically ruined the whole campaign and this this is the and you can take it down all the way to the person who wants to just look natural for uh, her husband that's the job that I want to achieve now one interesting thing you know we've talked off camera you say that uh, and you know my age that you say that if I start going to you now that in 10 years without surgery that in 10 years that I'll look younger than I do today you believe that this is not just I don't, I don't but just you believe, believe that. that I, I fully, fully endorse it. I really think because of the fact that now the way medicine is moving, the way cosmetic medicine and aesthetic medicine is moving, every year we come up with something new, something better, and something more um, finely tuned. And if you take care of your face, the way you take care of your body, if you take care of your face by doing minor procedures, not nothing major, no cutting. Can you stop, no aging? Cutting, can you you stop can aging? Absolutely stop aging. At least the appearance, the appearance of, aging. of aging. Yes. Okay. I, I, you know, we all age. I'm going to, I'm going to grow older. My body is not going to be the same. But you can stop the appearance of aging. You can halt it, and you can delay it for many, many years to come. Now, as a cosmetic dermatologist, you think looks are very important. It isn't just because this is my trade and this is what I do. Truly, there have been studies that have shown that if you're a better than average looking person, in many, many ways, your life changes. You will have a better job. Your income will increase by 20% over your lifespan, which is more than if you had a master's degree. 
it's it's mind boggling to to just interesting not as not realize this if you just look a little bit better i'm not saying to be a superstar to just look better than average your more doors will be open to you now it is up to you what to do with those doors but it, once the doors are open you know it's your personality your training your education your knowledge those things will help you along the way but to say that looks are not important or not or they don't play a role i think is very naive do you find that in 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 slower economic times that people spend more money on themselves i mean is that is that true at least in my practice i have seen this to be a to be the case when economy, but why should you by the way then? well what happens is that when there's an economy go takes a downturn you still want to invest in something your home if you invest more money in it the value is not going to go up in the down economy your job how much more are you going to invest in education you're not going to get two years of education but you can do a little bit of improvement in your appearance and this is an investment in yourself that will make you feel better because more you look confident. more vibrant you just look young uh, you know whether you like it or not this is a young youth society and if you look better you look younger you look more attractive i'm not here to endorse that that's this is the realities if you look better if you look younger you'll have better jobs you'll have better relationships people will be more attracted to they you they perceive you differently they'll perceive you differently and and more importantly you perceive yourself differently you say I've you had, see big changes by the way in self esteem I've, i've had i've had patients um, and i give you an example Erica she's um, she's around 50 years old and she came to me and she said I want to do something about myself this is a year ago and we did minimally invasive procedures on her just a little bit of a cool laser a little bit of a injections just to make her look better and to me this is what I do every day to to, to me this is everyday life all right she came back a year later six months later and she said that little bit of change which took me no more than perhaps 50 minutes of her life changed her life dramatic dramatically she went back home she started looking at herself at herself few days later she looks younger so she started to act like she was actually the way she did when she was 35 she really? started to join a gym go out more just because you cardiac. took care of her face it's 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 amazing how your appearance will have the effect on your psychology it is a reverse effect on your psychology and for someone for okay. me to just sit down here and explain it to you is hard to believe but it has there have been studies that have proven Uh, that if you look better it's very easy to understand you look better you feel better about yourself you become more confident and you do better in life you like what you do what uh, i mean how did you get involved in this and, and why this area of medicine cosmetic dermatology number one, i've always been interested in aesthetics i i used to um, sculpt i used to paint and but more than that my the way i got into this field was when i was 17 16 15 i always knew i had a crooked nose i had a bad nose and i had acne and so i was i was for good or bad reason i was very introverted i was shy and so i didn't like know, your nose i didn't like my nose you and did i didn't know how to re, how to fix it i did know how to fix it but everybody in my family my parents my relatives told me not to do it when i turned 18 which was the legal age in california to go get your nose done without your parents permission i went and i got my nose done is that right absolutely i got got you a nose job i paid for it with my own money okay. and i and i got my nose done and right after that for Two three months later, once the swelling well down, was down, it was like a new person came out. I was not really? shy anymore. I started to have conversations with people. I was outgoing. I became a better. I was a better person to myself. Not because of the way people were treating me, but my self esteem changed. I really thought of myself in a different way. I saw myself in the mirror, and I really liked what I saw. And on top of that, other people tried started to treat me a little bit differently. They realized that I'm not shy anymore. Do you think anymore. that was in your head, though? The people were treating maybe you some of it because is in my head. Nose? Maybe some of it is my, was was in my head, but some of it is actually we have certain understandings and uh, of how an attractive face is supposed to be. And frankly, my nose was crooked. So it, it changed you. It, it changed really you. changed my life. And I thought at that point, I really made my decision. I thought if I could go through medical school, through the training, and do this for one other person. I have done my work for my life because wow. it really changes one's a person's life. You can go throughout your life, you can do a lot of things, but nothing is as profound as giving someone self-esteem for the rest of their life, do especially a young person. Do you see that other people by the way? All the that have day, that same type of every reaction. Every day, every day people come in, they don't even know what they want to have done. They say, "You know what? I just don't feel good or I want to look a little bit younger." Or they have ideas that, you know, I want to get rid of my make my lips bigger. It is my job. I sit down with them I explain to them what are the things we can do and what I think is going to help them to look better. And once we've had that conversation, is I give them a menu. I say this is like a buffet you can choose from A, B, C or D or all of the above, but will my job is going then going to be to achieve the results that they came in for. And 
almost a huge number of our patients walk in even after the very first time looking and feeling better. By the way, is it uh, more uh, women than men? It, it sounds like it, it, we probably have seventy percent women. Are more but men? Thirty percent in? men, which is surprising. What about to age a lot ranges? Age ranges. We, we see, start seeing people as young as in their twenties, if they have acne or acne scars, or if their skin is not the way they want it to be, all the way up to seventies and eighties. But the majority of our patients are in their thirties, forties, and fifties. So you did some of your training at UCLA. Yes, I did, uh, as important as it is that you get great training, and I always wanted to go. I went to. Uh, I did my training at UCLA. And, but what really made me good at what I do is experience. Once I started my practice 10, 12 years ago, I started to see every single patient myself and I did the, every single treatment day in and day out. Are you a perfectionist? You know, you probably don't want your husband or your father to be a perfectionist, but when it comes to your face, you want okay. your doctor to be a perfectionist. All right. And that I am. I really believe that every face that I see, every time I work on your face, whether it's a, something as simple as a Botox or all the way up to a minimal invasive facelift, like a cool laser, I'm putting my signature on your face, not literally. So you do it all yourself for will, the most part? Absolutely. I don't. I, every Is it true you do all your own Botox? Every single treatment that I do, Even every Botox? Botox treatment, I do myself. Because you just don't like to train I, anybody else? I don't. I have trained other people. But when it comes to my own patients, again, I'm a professional. I like to do every treatment myself. You like to myself. do it yourself. Yes. Okay, now moving on to today's topic. Okay, the new technology. What's new? I mean, what, what are you using at uh, Epion to make people look younger? Uh, Randy, actually, if what is new today may not be new even two weeks from now. Okay. But when I get a patient to our office and when I sit face to face to them, I ask them what their problems are. And according to those problems, there's no cookie cutter approach to anything. Right. We really want to find what is exactly bothering you. Do you know, by the way, when you see them, do you say, I, oh boy. I can, uh, I've been doing this for many years. I can look like at a person's years. face. 15 years? 15 years, I can look at someone's face and within a second, I can tell you what I could do to make them look better. And I know, I know exactly what I'm going to do. But right. the process of explaining this to them sometimes takes 20, 30 minutes. And whoever, as long as it takes, I really want them to understand what they're getting themselves into and what they're going to, what the benefits are. And in most cases, I rather promise the moon and deliver the sun. So I'd rather give them fewer promises and really wow them once they see the results. So cool. Laser, your favorite yeah, it, of it all is, the lasers. Think of your skin as a shrink wrap, as a skin that has gone too much. You have too much skin for your face. The pores have gone larger. You have discolorations, sun damage. You have wrinkles because you have extra skin around your eyes. You have wrinkles. You have sagginess here. And what the laser does, think of it as a blow dryer or a shrink wrap. It causes your skin to tighten up. And because of the fact that it only works on the stem cells by activating the stem cells to produce through no heat? collagen is it through, through heat? heat it's just kind of like a it's the jolting of your skin to remind it of how to be healthy and young uh, remember our skin even when in way into our 80s and 90s you have the map you have that blueprint in your skin all we need to do is to jolt it again one more time and this is the laser that jolts your skin into remembering into reminding it how to be youthful and how to be young again and the rest of your body does it on its own. I don't, I just stand back and we watch your body does the work. Is it a light? Is it a laser? It's a laser. It's, it's a, a laser. laser. It's a laser because the fact that it penetrates deeper and stimulates the production of new collagen, it causes your skin to go back to that healthy, velvety look instead of the old skin that we have. When you're younger, you have no wrinkles, you have no discoloration, and you have no, no pores. And that's the youthful look we look for. But, but there are other treatments. There's no cookie cutter approach to all the aging process. Aging happens in different parts of your face and there's no one treatment that does everything. So what's the next Fantastic. I would also recommend for some people who don't want to have as much of a downtime, they could use cool fracs or fractionated laser. Cool fracs? Which is one step down and okay. fractionated laser. Or fractionated laser. They all laser. do similar treatments. It's just a matter of how fast do you want to see the results. So it's for sun damage? Sun or damage. Or just aging skin? Fine lines, sun damage, sagging of the skin and draping of the so skin. When you look at the aging face, what are you looking at? And let's start from the top down, and what do you do? As you age, the very first thing that you notice in people is that they start to get a little bit of a droopy eye eyelids, their upper eyelids, their eyebrows go down a little bit, they get dark circles, they get discolorations, we all get pores get larger, fine lines, and all these treatments, all these problems can be addressed one by one. But for brows, don't you need surgery? No, you browsers? don't need surgery. If you, if you wait long enough, you're gonna need surgery, but the same concept, cool laser, can lift up brows really nicely. Cool laser. 
just enough so that you have a nice lifted brow. You can actually get rid of the fat pad around the eyes by just using cool laser and ultrasound. If you have dark circles, I don't care how many lightning creams, concealers, uh, camouflage you wear, no matter what you use, what I can do in less than 10 minutes. So under the eyes. Under the eyes to remove the dark circles. I can remove your dark circles in 10 minutes more so than all these creams and all these other treatments can do in two or three years of your life. What are you doing? I do two eyes. things, cool laser and I add a little bit of volume under the eyes using radiance or a dermal filler. It just lifts the skin up, gets rid of the dark circles. I don't care how, you, how old you are. There are people who are in their 20s and they have to conceal the dark circles. This is the only treatment that I know that I have been doing for the past five years that really? instantly gets rid of. And what about when I talk to a doctor yeah. and I'm more confused than ever and they say on my show, Randy, you don't want to put fillers under the eyes. What is your response to that? And the why do you correct like doing answer it? is really you have to do it the right way. You cannot do the fillers under the eyes like it's a sausage, you're just filling it up. You have to do it slowly, you have to do it very, very it has a finesse and it has an art to it. And you have to do it the way I do it. So, and I inject it in multiple different points. So, I start from the top of the line and I go all the way down to your face. So, it actually looks like you have a nice sheet on, over your face instead of a line. If you just put it under where you is think that big the lines done? are. I haven't seen too many other doctors do it, but the way I do it, and I had the way I have learned to do it uh, from experience, is that if you, the way we age is not like you end up with a line right here. Your whole face ages. So in order to reverse it, you have to address every single point one by one. It's more time consuming. So for the brows, a little bit of cool laser. Let me get this right. And then under the eyes, you some do a fillers, a filler and a little bit of a cool laser. Done. It is, this is the most important part, that it has to be done right. Every day I get a patient who thought, well, this is easy enough. I'm just going to go to a doctor and get the fillers under my eyes. But w they end up with, with a little bit of a ridge under the eyes that is not looking natural. I want people to come only when they want to look natural. They want to look naturally better, like the way they did five, ten years ago. Or as though Can they you just do got that, by the way, with minimally invasive? I mean, what's... Absolutely. I do it every day. years younger? Every day. Every day, Randy. We do Can every we day. Can we say that on this show? And people need to know, this is not a scripted program. This is a real interview. But... Can you, I mean, you, you have this concept of stopping the aging process or slowing the aging process. I can do two things. I can okay. slow the aging process and we can stop the appearance of the aging process on your face. If you look younger, you're going to act longer, you're going to feel younger, and you just get older later. Is that right? Now, now you say that by getting procedures done, you give them leverage to start taking better care of themselves. It, what? It, in a way, you're just opening new doors for people. If a person who is looking better, not only other people respond to you differently, studies have shown that your immune system gets better, stronger just by looking better, by just feeling better right. about yourself. So you become healthier, in my opinion, you, get, you can have better opportunities in your life, and you're just, I think, life becomes a little bit, just, just a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. We come back uh, more about uh, the other technologies that you have in your practice. Absolutely. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're here with cosmetic dermatologists, in fact, uh, LA's hottest dermatologist, and we're talking about slowing or stopping the appearance of aging with uh, minimally invasive uh, techniques. We'll be right back. For viewers out there that want more information, you could go to Dr. Orion's website, call his office. They offer free consultations for cosmetic dermatology, and I couldn't give a higher endorsement to anybody. Tried all sorts of cover-ups for bad breath? Try the science of Breath-RX. Only Breath-RX has Zytex. It attacks the cause of bad breath, keeps working for hours. It's clinically proven for real fresh breath. Get non-prescription Breath-RX from your dental hygienist and now at fine stores everywhere. There's a new secret to looking younger. An advancement so profound, it took a team of scientists years to create. A time machine called Zoom. Getting Zoomed is the fastest way to erase years from your looks. Zoom is the most advanced teeth whitening ever. Only your dentist has it. Nothing works like it. Zoom Gel gently penetrates the submicron pores of tooth enamel. The patented Zoom Light super activates the gel through a unique photofenton reaction, breaking down the stain's double bonds. In just 45 minutes, years of discoloration disappear, transforming your smile to wow. To find a Zoom dentist near you, go to zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895. For your whitest, most confident, most irresistible smile, get Zoomed today. Make your appointment at zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895 today. 
and discover the wow of Zoom. Designs for Health is the nutritional supplement brand of choice, exclusively recommended by healthcare professionals. As a physician, I insist on the science-first approach of Designs for Health. They have synergistic formulations with optimum quantities of therapeutic nutrients. Designs for Health, the leader in professional brand nutritional supplements. For viewers out there that want more information, you could go to Dr. Orion's website, call his office. They offer free consultations for cosmetic dermatology, and I couldn't give a higher endorsement to anybody. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, hot topic, uh, new techniques to literally slow or stop the aging process, minimally invasive facial rejuvenation. Uh, LA's busiest cosmetic dermatologist, Dr. Orion. Okay, now you are the busiest. We're Is that probably right? one of the busiest in the country, yes. Okay, yeah. big celebrity following, but you say everybody's doing this now. It's, it's, it's it really is, mainstream. It, the industry and the technology has become so advanced now that who doesn't want to look better? And every day we get patients who never thought they were going to do anything, but they, they start with a little bit of Botox here and they do a little all bit right. of fillers here, and then all of a sudden they feel like, why not? You know, when somebody walks around with great skin, it's almost like a credibility or a sophistication that goes with it. Uh, you know, they look healthy and vibrant. Healthy, uh, beautiful skin is healthy skin. And if you have healthy skin, it goes hand in hand with having beautiful skin, with having... Do no people say, that, you know, I feel sexy again, I, I, I feel better, I'm getting looks now. Do they say this to you? When you, have, when you have beautiful skin, when you have healthy skin, you look, you look sexier, you look, feel better, you feel more attractive to other people. And it's not about just going out there and having a party, but the kind of attention you get from other people, the kind of uh, response you get from other people, it just boosts your ego they become and you more feel social. better about yourself. You become you more sociable. Is that right? Absolutely. And we're out of time just about. Yeah. Uh, and, and we haven't talked to, uh, about facial fillers, things like that. What about intense pulse light? Is that out? Now, now that you have cool laser and the new technology, Intense well, Pulse Light? Intense Pulse Light was from probably six, seven years ago. There's still some room for it, but when you have new technology, when there are newer technologies that you can, they can do the treatments in one session instead of 10, 15 sessions, now most of our But I know people that swear to, by Intense Pulse Light. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with that. But now most of our patients want something that's faster, quicker, and better results. So they move up to the next So one treatment, treatment on, like, let's say, a cool laser would be equivalent to 10 um, treatments? 10 to 15 treatments of Intel's Pulse Light, and better, because Intel's Pulse Light doesn't do anything for the crepiness of the skin. It just basically gets rid of the spots but and the redness. But how does it tighten jowls, though? So you got a this little bit of sagging, and it tightens? As long as you don't have neck. major fat deposit in your neck, which, by the way, we can take care of that with ultrasound, but as long as you don't have major fat deposit in your face, and, we just, and it's mostly skin that's sagging, by shrinking the skin, by causing the new collagen fibers to become stronger, they just hold your skin better. You're just like having a million little ropes all around your face that pull your skin up and they tighten it up. That's how, how you does are Does it last for a while? How long does it last? Anywhere from three to seven years. I told you a patient of mine came 10 years ago and she still looks better now than she did before the procedure. But you get stuck doing this later. for the rest of your life? Not if you don't want to. You only do it as long as you want to look better. Is it true that the prices are about the same wherever you go? So you might as well look for a specialist. This is the case. You know, is that true? I, I, it's very much true. Maybe with 10 or 10 or 20 percent up and down, the prices are very similar because most doctors have to make a living and they all have to do something that most of our patients are happy with. The fact that it's very competitive pricing keeps the market very much level. But I know what RNs that do this, by the way. Yes. RNs, registered nurses. But to me, if, it, if, if with all things being equal, if the pricing is about the same, you might as well go to a doctor that that's all he does I, this or is, she does. This is, what is that I your feeling? Patients, this is how I feel about it, too. If you're going to have the difference between a a person who has learned how to do a few injections and a person who actually does this all day long is, is like a difference between a chef and a cook. You can have a meal prepared by a cook and it's going to taste really good once or twice, but if you ask them to make a little bit of a difference, then you're in trouble. You better go to a chef and ask for the meal of your life and you have only one face, you want it to be done right, insist on getting it done by the doctor, or at the very least, this is not what I endorse, but at the very least, meet the doctor that who's, okay. who's in the office. You want to get treated by someone who knows what they're doing. Are you doing. getting better every month? This sounds like an obvious question, but I mean, are you at the top of your game? And do you feel that way? I, I don't think I'm at the top of my game ever. Every day, I'm getting better and better and better. I think I know a lot more than I did a year ago, and I know a lot more than I did two years ago. So every day that I go back to the office, I learn a new treatment, and I tweak my uh, treatments, 
and my procedures to a way that it keeps getting better and better. Now, if you're the busiest guy in almost all of California when it comes to Botox and the busiest center in Beverly Hills, how do you have time to see patients? I see, big line? Big, uh, I mean, as far as weight? It's probably, we try to make it as seamless as possible. A couple weeks? We schedule, our waiting is usually we try to keep it less than two, three months. So if you call and we try to get you in as quickly as possible, there is a waiting period in, to, for me to see you. But because the fact that these procedures are not life-threatening, you yeah. can wait a little bit All and right. get good results. Now, you know, people always ask me, you know, what should you look for in, in a cosmetic dermatologist or a plastic surgeon? And, uh, you know, I always say, you know, look for a specialist, but look, look for someone that does it all the time. Uh, because, I mean, you're going to be looking at your face, you know, 50's young today. You're going to be looking at your face for another 40 years. You, you better take it, take it very seriously on who you pick to do anything to your face. At least that's my thought. As wonderful as these treatments are, and as much of it, great results as they make, the technology and the training of the doctor are only 20 to 30% of the actual result. The results that you're going to get depends on the doctor's experience and his artistic ability to create the results that he got trained for. And that's where you want to pick the person who really knows what they're doing. And you're going to, as okay. you said, you only have one face. <laughs> Make sure you invest a lot of time interviewing the doctor, find out what you're going to have done, and make sure you talk to a couple of patients that this doctor has had. And if the results are good, then you can trust your face. So if I go in there and I said, I'm going to go visit you, how much younger do you think you could be? Randy, look at, you know my age. Yeah. You already, I don't feel like there's a big you problem. Already, you already look younger than most people in your age group. Okay. But, but I think any, no matter what you come in for, I can do a little bit, few things that I could at least prevent you from getting a, older, faster. I can stop your aging process, at least the appearance of your aging process, right at the age okay. you are right Give now. Give me a number. And reverse I'll put you on the spot. So you, you I, think, I mean, do you think I could you can probably make, make you look five years younger. Definitely. Five years younger. Yes. I definitely know I can make you five years younger. All right. Yes. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Absolutely. Very My interesting. Pleasure. Your website, so. it's all there, all the before and after pictures or something. We have a lot of the before and after pictures. We don't like to put all of our patients' pictures on the website because with the uh, technology the way it is, people don't like to be on the website every day. But if you come to our office, we have a lot of before and after pictures. There's a ton of before and after pictures. There's one face that you can identify with and you say, this is how I want it to look like. All right. Okay. Thanks again for coming on the show. My pleasure. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online, visit our website at wellnesshour.com. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.